People with underlying medical conditions such as obesity are at increased risk of severe illness from COVID-19. The World Health Organization says 9 out of 10 COVID-19 deaths occurred in countries with high obesity levels. To talk to us about this link, we're joined by Dr. Rashile Mansebo from the Busamed Hospital Group. A very good morning to you. Really disturbing findings. Tell us more about what you learned about what's happening here. Yes, uh, so uh, cons uh, I think our finding is consistent with the, uh, with the World Health Organization because I find that in the patient I treat, those who uh, have high BMI, uh, by definition, BMI is a body mass index with um, um, uh, BMI of more than 30, we call them obese, and BMI of more than 40, uh, morbidly obese. They tend to have more higher cases of severe pneumonia. They tend to have a uh, prolonged recovery rate they, in terms of hospital stay. They stay longer. They require more oxygen for a, a protracted period of time. And they tend to uh, require more ICU um, uh, bed and ventilation. And there is high mortality and morbidity uh, with regard to those things. Uh, and, and the problem in South Africa, excuse me, jumping in here, we have a, okay. a problem with obesity, don't we? We do, we do, we do. And I think um, uh, it's one of the fast growing uh, countries with obesity. I think uh, because of the lifestyle and I think with the lockdown, it made even the situation even worse because people um, uh, were in lockdown and they were not mobilizing a lot and they were at home eating and most of them gained weight uh, with, uh, with, with the lockdown. And uh, remind us what it is about obesity that makes it just a whole lot worse. W what's the link there? So there are several factors. One is the respiratory, uh, it affects the way the respiratory rate means the lung function. The airflow when you are obese is much more resistant because of the fat surrounding the, the pipes that uh, we breathe in. Secondly, uh, it's because of um, uh, the obesity is associated with all other chronic illnesses like diabetes, hypertension, di um, dyslipidemia, um, and chronic kidney diseases, which are also the risk factor for severe COVID infection. Secondly, obesity, uh, when you're obese, the adipose tissue act as a, as a form of a hormone which produces uh, a, um, hormones that uh, encourages a state of inflammation. Inflammation is a, a state where your body is in a, uh, a, an inflamed state. And when you are in an inflamed state, it affects the way the immune system works. So they tend to have higher viral infection and they can't clear the infection because their immunity is impaired. And because of the, the, the impaired immunity, when they get infection, they have exacerbated response to the COVID infection, uh, which make, tends to uh, uh, make them have worse disease. As well as uh, because of the adipose tissue, it has higher receptors that are used by COVID when, uh, when somebody is infected with COVID. So those receptors are higher in patients with uh, obesity than those without COVID. Uh, obesity, hence they have higher viral load and they tend to shed it for a longer period of time in the system and they have uh, worse inflammation and worse uh, pneumonia. And because of that, it, 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 they, their respiratory system is affected and they have poor lung reserve. So when they get uh, COVID pneumonia, which uh, likes the lung, it makes the situation even worse. Okay, so if somebody is concerned about their weight, if they've been called obese, if they know that they're obese, what should they do in this time? In this time, I think generally they should watch their diet. Um, they, um, now there is more studies showing that low carb uh, carbohydrate diet and um, it's, it's much effective. They should try and ex ex try to be as mobile as possible, exercise more, try even if they can't go to gym, try do walks, um, runs, like activities, be more active. Stress less because the, the, with stress, people who are stressed tend to eat more and test, tend to not to be very active. And a lot of sleep also helps. So those things will sort of um, counteract the, the obesity. If those measures fail, then they can sometimes even see a dietitian who can prescribe them or advise them on a best diet for them. And sometimes uh, some blood tests and endocrine, uh, visit endocrinologists because they deal more with obesity can advise in terms of certain if they, the, the reason why they're not losing weight, it has to do with the, the hormonal um, profile. Or okay. sometimes a surgery is, and there are medications that are now out that help okay. with Sound advice, Lisa Mansebo. Good to talk to you. Thank you very much.